25, the sounds of Sasquatch. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to Breakfast Television on this Monday. Uh, this is a subject near and dear to my heart. I'm very pleased to welcome John Zada uh, to the show. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Uh, you have written the uh, fascinating new book that is called In the Valleys of the Noble Beyond in search of the Sasquatch. Uh, as a young boy, when I would go to the library, I would always get those cryptozoology books that looked at the Loch Ness Monster, Chupacabra, Bigfoot. And uh, what was your initial fascination with the Sasquatch? It, it was much the same. I grew up in the late 70s, early 80s. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a time of you know heavy duty Sasquatch coverage in the pop culture and the mainstream media and stuff like the six million dollar man and like in search of with you know um, Leonard Nimoy and Harry and the Hendersons and that came a bit later yes probably at the further, that was more my time. further end of that phase yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, but also like you uh, you know I would go to public libraries with my mom as a kid and I f somehow found that you know unexplained section in the book in, yeah. the, in the library and 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 gravitated to those books uh, author by the name of John Green was the first journalistic um, chronicler or writer of of, of Sasquatch mm -hmm. books. He was he was based in Harrison Hot Springs. He was the, the you know the mayor there. I think back in the in the 50s or the 60s, and he did the first sort of you know real journalistic research into the subject. And and it was those books that I think really brought me into the fold. So lending further yeah. credibility to the whole nature of Sasquatch and the myth behind it, you travel to the Great Bear Rainforest, one of the gems in BC near Bella Coola, and uh, trekked around there. And uh, according to your book, people in that area are convinced that Bigfoot walks among them there. Right. Well, going back to John Green, he was one of the first you know, investigators to go up to that part of the BC coast, the central north coast, um, along with another researcher named Bob Titmus. And I, you know, I knew about that reading the books from way back, right. and I traveled there on an assignment. I'm a journalist, I'm a writer, and I was there just to, you know, to write a travel piece. And I mean, I had in mind that this was an area known for the reports, but when I got there, you know, my 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 article, which was more travel focused, started to kind of move in the direction of of Bigfoot reports because. At the time of my trip, there was a whole bunch of reports that were happening right. on the coast, and, and that drew my attention. And then after that assignment, I resolved to go back to the area to actually do a book about it because there was just so much material you know, to be, to be um, written about. And you see this all over the world with certain legends. My wife was hiking in the Himalayas, and she says that Sherpas there convinced, you mm. know, they, they talk almost nonchalantly about the existence of Yeti. Uh, right. And then you came into contact with people in your travels in the Great Bear Rainforest who were convinced that they, they've either seen one or they do exist, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, if you've been up there, anyone who's been up there would know that it's, that, you know, the Great Bear Rainforest is um, an area of, uh, you know, Ab abundant nature and a, a beautiful, pristine ecosystem, and it, I mean, it's it's another level of, of of wilderness and and and, and natural world up there. And so, um, you know, bears and all the wildlife exist all around the residents who live there. I mean, they they fish, they hunt. I mean, you you go into people's backyards, and it's 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 essentially like, it's it's the forest. It's oh, it's the it's, wild, it's the wilderness yeah. back there. So, um, they're quite comfortable and quite familiar with that area and with all of the you know the wildlife and the animals and so um, they're almost authorities in a way I would say mm -hmm. on, 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 on what is there and so you have to take their their word you know t you know to some degree quite seriously regardless of what your position is on the subject especially if you're a city person you're not really you know versed in that in that in that context right I won't spoil it for uh, people who haven't read the book because I do urge mm -hmm. you to check it out uh, in terms of what you saw if you did encounter a Bigfoot but what does it say uh, the notion of maybe the fact that we don't have a lot of proof that may make us more human in that quest for the unknown mm. well I mean I did sort of steer the direction of the book towards that question of what is it that that drives us to pursue the right. creature and I think um, I mean there's a lot of different answers for it it depends on one's take for it but I think I mean ultimately we, we do have a, a, a huge curiosity in mysteries and in the unknown and I think a lot of us really kind of yearn for some kind of indication or perhaps even proof that there is something more to the known universe than what we, you know, have discovered as reality based. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, and and you know, that's a that's a big driver. I mean, I, you know, there are people who, 
they, they say consciously that like I'm doing this to you know I'm investigating the Sasquatch because I'm trying to prove it scientifically or of course. Um, but and that is true but I think deep down even when you talk to the scientists who study you know the creatures I think there is a kind of almost um, pseudo religious kind of um, reverence for the notion that there might be this really intelligent, self-aware humanoid being out there, and 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 I mean, that's my that's the appeal to me, yeah. right? So I maybe I'm projecting it onto them, but I see it in them. Well, fascinating yeah. stuff. The book is great, John. Thank you for, so much for coming on and sharing about it. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll put all the uh, information online plus the interview. You can check that out. And Mary's got your news headlines when we come back. Stick around.